Let's recap our breaking news this hour. And Turkey's defense ministry has announced that the first delivery of equipment for the Russian S-400 missile system has arrived in Ankara. And we can speak now to Hassan Unal, who is the head of the Department of Political Science and International Relations at Maltepe University. He joins us now from Ankara. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Where does this now leave U.S.-Turkey relations? I mean, the United States has threatened sanctions, but President Trump seemed to backtrack on that and actually blamed the United States for this debacle. So where do you think this is going now that the purchase is finished and delivered? Well, first of all, you, you've been talking about a rift between the United States and Turkey because of the S-300 missiles purchased, purchased by Turkey. But I would think that the uh, rift is much wider than the S-300 uh, crisis, if we can call it. Um, basically, we have, uh, we've got a number of serious problems with the United States. We don't see eye to eye on, on all these problems, such as the continual U.S. support for the PKK uh, PYD in Syria, the U.S. attitude in general towards the Cyprus question, and I can come up with some other uh, serious issues important for Turkey. And the S-300 crisis basically is just one. And the United States is uh, basically threatening, coming up with intimidation. And uh, as you reported earlier in your uh, news, uh, this is not going to work because it's not the only one. So the whole U.S.-Turkey relationship basically needs to be new, newly uh, needs to be formatted. Once again, if we are allies, then we should be talking like allies. If we are not allies, then, then it would be a different kettle of fish. So basically, if we are allies, why is the United States supporting the PKK PYD in Syria? That is uh, a serious threat to Turkey's uh, territorial integrity. And uh, why is the United States basically stubbornly objecting to a two-state solution in Cyprus, for instance? Again, so many federations have uh, crumbled over the last 20 years or so. Uh, the Yugoslavia, for instance, is one. Seven states came out of it, and the United States has recognized all of them. Uh, Czechoslovakia uh, no longer exists. Both uh, I mean, the two problem components. Is, though, we're, getting, we're getting mixed messages from the United States. I mean, in one breath, as we said earlier, they're, they're threatening sanctions. And then the, in the next breath, we have President Trump absolutely siding with Turkey. Then again, in one breath, we have the United States saying that the YPG is the perfect ally to have in Syria. And then in the next, we'll have Senate, Senator Lindsey Graham say it's a horrible idea that we're backing what is a terrorist organization in Syria. So uh, how do you exactly. square that circle? I mean, how it, it's not clear what? exactly where the U.S. stands. I think, I think you're perfectly right. Basically, uh, we see a United States which seems to be quite disoriented or, to, to say the least, quite divided in its actions and its, in its decisions. And it's not only towards Turkey that the United States foreign policy appears to be quite divided, but also, just as you reported, uh, for instance, they kept talking about the Iran now they seem to be uh, uh, chickening out. Uh, for quite understandable reasons. So the United, uh, we, there is, I think, a problem of the United States now in the world stage, and that needs to be addressed. So on the, from the Turkish point of view, Turkey cannot basically uh, set back from its earlier position, uh, that is the purchase of the S3, uh, S-400 missiles, because it needs to bolster up its air defense system, and it's, it needs to do it uh, immediately, urgently. Uh, and, and on other issues, such as the United States support for the PKK PYD, again, Turkey cannot basically change its uh, position, because it's perfectly right in saying uh, that the, it is a terrorist organization and it's a serious threat to Turkey's national security as well as Turkey's territorial integrity. Okay. And the United States should be acting like a an ally, like a NATO ally. For instance, Katsa sanctions are against the adversaries, are against the uh, enemies. Is Turkey, as, uh, is Turkey an enemy or a, a reliable member of NATO? Right. 
Okay, Hassanunal, we're going to have to leave it there. Thanks so much for joining us live from Ankara.